So I'm just waiting for Freely out here at Norton Summit on the bike. And a question, it'll review coming up on this one. $499, good bike. Question of the day, fuck Duran Rider, where the fuck does fat go when you when you burn it off? Where, when you burn fat, where the fuck does it go? You know, when you when you burn the fat, where the fuck does it go? Scientists are saying that we actually breathe fat out. It requires, to burn one kilo of fat requires three kilos of oxygen. So the more you breathe it in, the more oxygen you're taking in, the more carbon dioxide is breathed out. And fat is disposed of by water, so you sweat it, you piss it, a small percent or majority of it is breathed out by carbon dioxide. So you actually breathe the fat out. You breathe the fat out, but to burn the fat, you need the oxygen in. And again, this is why I say, cycling is the best, because cardio is king and queen when it comes to fat burning. People say, but weights is good. Yeah, weights are good, but not for burning fat. Weights, doing weights, going to the gym to burn fat is a fucking waste of time, really. I mean, it's good for socialising and to build strength, but if you want to burn fat, you've got to get out the fucking gym, get on the bike or walk, get in the fresh air and move your body. Yeah, you can go on the dread mill and the spin bike in the gym for sure. If you like that, that's fine, but I wouldn't want to spend 10 hours a week in a fucking gym unless you're going there to socialise. Fair enough, that's cool. But you get riding your bike to work would be the number one way to do it because a lot of people are fucking busy. I'm fucking busy. I don't have fucking time to go to a gym. I don't have fucking time to go to a gym. I want to get out there and get shit done. I don't want to yeah, drive a car, get changed, have a shit, do all that fucking around. I just want to get on my fucking bike, get the job fucking done, get to where I've got to go. I've got to go meet someone in a second, I've got to rob my bike there. Transport, you know, I don't have time to exercise, I've got to get time to get shit done. So you, what happens to the fat is you breathe it out. Look it up, look it up. What happens to fat when you lose it, you breathe it out. So again, that's why you need to have high carb diet so you have enough energy to ride your bike. I'm surprised how many people ride me. Now I say this aggressively, but I don't say it meanly. I say this, I, I, I just fucking can't believe how many fucking people write me, Harley, what should I do? Like, I'm like, ride your fucking bike. I don't like riding, ride your fucking bike. Oh, okay, so you're in a wheelchair. We use a, a hand bike, like my friend Grant, you know? He's in a wheelchair, he's, he's fucking fit as fuck. In his fucking wheel bike, hand bike. Get on the hand. He rides up mountains using his fucking arms, man. You know, lean. So it's, it's not about, it's just about priorities. Some people just aren't serious. They're interested in fat loss, but they're not fucking serious about it. There's a big difference between interest and commitment. I hang around committed people. I have thousands of people write me every single day who are interested in fat loss. I'm interested in doing this. I'm interested in doing that. And that's cool. But at almost 38 years old, I'm almost 40 years old now, 38 in a couple of months, I've learned in my years, there's a fucking big difference. There's a fucking grand canyon of difference between being interested and being fucking committed to getting lean. The people who are fucking committed are those fuckers out there riding their bikes or the wheelchair bikes up the fucking hills every week of the year, no matter fucking what. So there you go, that's just what it takes. You gotta breathe it out so you can do your dips and your burpees till the fucking cows come home. But I ain't gonna do fucking shit compared to getting on your bike and listen to your breathing, riding up the mountains. That's what's gonna be the best. So yeah, you can get results, but it's gonna take you years and years and decades versus on your bike, riding up the hills, hearing yourself breathe a bit. The more you breathe, the more fat you burn. Simple as that. There's no fucking way around it. Get on your fucking bike, burn fat, not oil.